Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Carlene Ostegard. I am sitting in Oakland International Airport and I am silently sobbing. I am sobbing because I am going to a training about which I don't know very much, <laughs> but I know that I want to do this work that I will learn from the training and I want to be the best at it and I don't know anybody there and I'm scared to death <laughs> because I have no one to confess my insecurities to. You see, three years ago, I was watching TLC's Strange Sex, and I saw an episode about a surrogate partner. And in this episode, I am watching this woman work with a couple, and she is teaching them how to reconnect sexually. She is teaching this couple how to reconnect through relaxation exercises, so they feel less frightened and anxious about sex. She is teaching them how to learn what their boundaries and their desires are and to communicate that to each other. She is teaching them about sensate focus and how to touch for your own pleasure. And she is teaching them about mutuality and that sex can be anything, including genitals, but is the entire body. And I want to do this so badly. But I realize I'm a little in over my head <laughs> and didn't do a lot of homework, and I know this is going to be a big deal, but I just don't know what that big deal is going to look like. So I get to Temecula, California for my two-week intensive training, and I am there well before my lead trainer, whose name is Vina, and all of the other trainees. So I'm chatting with Vina's partner, Chris, and he's making me feel better, and I tell him I'm very nervous, and he's like, oh, you're, you're, you'll do great, you'll do great. Um, and little did I know, he's gathering intel for Vina to give back to her. So later that night, we all go to bed, and he tells Mina as they're preparing for bed, Carlene is extremely nervous, but you're gonna like her. <laughs> and I'm really grateful that he did that, <laughs> um, because when it came time to do the experiential portion of our exercises where I begin to move through the work that I'm going to eventually teach to my clients, um, we have to, she has to pick a training partner for us. And she chooses Brian, because I had said to her that I felt very comfortable with Brian. And she was like, bingo. <laughs> so I'm with Brian, and we're beginning our experiential work. We start with the hand caress, where we take turns touching each other's hands for our own pleasure. And then we move to the face caress, and we take turns touching each other's face for our own pleasure. And we do a foot bath, and then we move to the back caress, and so on. And I'm realizing at this time that this training is causing me to feel very strong feelings for Brian. There's a great amount of intimacy, there's an awful lot of touch. Uh, <laughs> and. I'm about halfway through the training and I am very aware of the fact that it's going to be very hard to say goodbye to him at the end of this two week intensive. But I make the decision that I'm going to stay present and just enjoy him while I have him for the next two weeks. And we're about three days away and Vina gathers us together and she says, okay, today you're going to do the erotic body mapping exercise. And <laughs> obviously, I have no idea what that is. Um, so I'm like, OK, that sounds cool. Um, and the purpose of the erotic body mapping exercise is to learn that the entire body is an is a erotic canvas, that we feel sensuality and eroticism in places beyond just our genitals. Yes. <laughs> I agree, woo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So she explains how this is going to work and basically erotic body mapping is where you lay down and somebody touches you from head to toe and then you roll over and front to back and they're going to change the touch. So it can be like feather light touches and then they can move to a firmer touch and they can kiss and they can lick and they can suck and they can nibble, etc., etc. And every time that that person who is touching you changes the way that they touch you or they change the body part, you tell them on a scale from one to 10 whether um, your level of arousal. One is I am asleep. And 10 is I am having an orgasm, which is actually a pretty small scale. <laughs> so we begin, and it's feeling nice. Um, and he gets to my, um, Brian gets to my ears, and I'm starting to feel those kind of tingles of eroticism. And, Immediately, I feel really self-conscious because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not supposed to be feeling quite this excited. Um, but I have a really sensitive body, and Vina said it's okay. We just can't progress past that level of the training. And so <laughs> there's all this stuff going on in my head. So I'm not really totally enjoying it at the time. And uh, he gets to my neck, and that feels really good, and I'm starting to sink into the, into the feeling of it and he moves down the rest of my body and I roll over. And just by accident, he took his thumb and brushed the corner of my scapula. And there, just, just this electrical current runs through my body. And I kind of timidly said, hey, Brian, do, do you mind touching that spot again? Because I don't know what's going on, but something's going on. And he's like, of course I will. <laughs> uh, he's very enthusiastic. And so <laughs> he, um, he starts touching it and it's feeling really good. And then he begins to lick and suck and nibble a little bit. And he kind of alternates between the licking and the sucking and the nibbling. And my body is just on fire. And there is this movement of energy and I'm, incredibly aroused and still in my head thinking, oh my God, you're not supposed to feel aroused. You're, you're the surrogate, you're supposed to do this right. Like, I'm, you know, <laughs> like get it together, woman. And I can't, I can't um, because I have a, a shoulder that's got things it needs. <laughs> Um, and it's never gotten what it needed until today. <laughs> so I'm just like, shut up, mind. The, you, like, the body gets to do what it's going to do right now. <laughs> and so as soon as I do that, as soon as I just let go, I orgasm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And we, th that pretty much ends it for me. And <laughs> I lay down onto the pillow and we get in, um, in position for our spooning meditation, which is what we do after every exercise. <laughs> and so he lays next to me and we're synchronizing our breathing. And I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really orgasm good because I just had an orgasm from my shoulder, which is super cool. Uh, <laughs> but I'm also feeling really like really heart good because the shoulder is just like the tip of the iceberg. I, that's the beginning of, or the small piece of the transformation that I have undergone. I have gone, undergone a huge emotional transformation with Brian. With him, I found someone to talk to about those insecurities I mentioned before, and I was able to connect with him. We shared secrets from our childhood, sexual secrets that we thought we couldn't tell anybody. Um, and I learned to be vulnerable with essentially a complete stranger in the course of two weeks. 
And I become aware of the fact that my, my clients are going to come to me feeling the same way that I was feeling in Oakland International Airport. They will feel anxious. They will feel that they are not good enough sexually. They will feel afraid and they will feel alone. And I get to facilitate that transformation from anxiety to relaxation and from disempowerment to empowerment and from fear of sex and eroticism and sensuality to a celebration of fear and sex and sensuality. And I feel so honored that I get to be a part of that transformation with them.